morning guys very late morning but i am here Give me one minute. I'm filling in someone, so give me one second. I let give everyone time to hop on and everything, and I'll explain what happened. Just give me everyone time to hop on this morning because I know a lot of people are worried about Bane and everything. So basically, okay, see who's all on, Gloria's on, Gia's on, Stella, Tiffany. Okay, come on, Stacy and Amble. Come on, hop on. Stacy, Stacy. I know Stacy wants to heal too, so. <laughs> I'm trying to get Stacy's attention. So I can fill in Stacy and everything. This is a whole lot easier than messaging um, a lot. Because <laughs> after a while, your fingers get um, tired typing. So. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. So basically. So, it is, well, oh, because of our water issue and everything, we decided to go out last night for dinner because at like 5.30, our water still was not on. They were still working down there trying to fix our water issue. Um, thank you, Bose. Um, so anyway, we went, we decided to go to Golden Corral, Bane, a celery, yeah, go and cantaloupe yeah, for the first know. time ever, and we was just like, oh, so proud of you, Bane, yeah. because with his autism, he doesn't really try new stuff often, and the fact that he was eating, you know, something healthy, because he's used to... Like hot dogs, chicken. Uh, well, he's my, more of a meat person. Never really. He never really, you know, eats a lot of vegetables. So he was like, mommy. "Way to go, Bane, eating a vegetable because that's not normal for him." Mommy, with my ears. And then we <laughs> go to the Christmas of Paul because if you watched my live last make, night, we was uh, went through the Christmas. Can the mommy talk for a minute? Okay. okay. Um, we went through Christmas and not no. We went through Christmas at Paul. We was having a good time. Bane at that time started saying his eye was itchy, but he's been saying that a lot lately outside before this allergic reaction. So we really did not think much of it at that point because you know when the dark call we did not. Um, couldn't really see him back there in the back of the van. So we got home and everything, and he got on my exercise bike for a minute. And then as he was coming out of the bedroom, we noticed his eye was literally swelling up. Um, so we're like, okay, what's going on? And it's and I was like, it looks like a allergic reaction. Um, and everything. So we waited like a second or like two, and then we started noticing his other eye was starting to swell as well. So we 
immediately I thought allergic reaction. I didn't have no Benadryl on hand, but I knew my allergy pills that I had on hand had the same thing as the antihistamine in it. So I gave him one of those and then we got in the car, got, got him to the hospital and on the way to the hospital, he was literally, uh, he literally told me in his own, own words at the time because it was so soft you could barely heal him. He's saying he was having trouble breathing and I was just trying to comfort him and everything. And Tyler drove us to the hospital. We had um, Tyler's second oldest niece over here so she watched the girls. Um, so the girls was taken care of at that time. So me and Tyler just focused on Bane. We got him to the hospital. They took him right back. Um, they was so good with Bane. They took it very easily with his autism because we let him know that he has autism. He was on his, this medicine, this medicine. Um, he had a physical the day before um, and everything was fine. And, but he started back on his new medicine and everything the day before so and he's never had a allergic reaction before so they checked his oxygen level his oxygen level was at 90 which apparently is considered low oxygen so give it to Audrey give it to Audrey Audrey can you give Daisy some milk she bought me her sippy cup <laughs> um Daisy, take us to the Take it to Um, and everything. So they carefully stayed calm. They, Bane ended up walk. They wanted to take him straight to the triage room. Um, well, trauma room, not triage, but trauma room, and everything so they got him back there they was calm they didn't rush or hover over him they took it really easy trying not to frighten him with his autism and they ended up giving him some medicine um steroids i got the name of the, what they gave him on the um on the paperwork and they watched him for two hours, well, close to three hours, to make sure that the swelling started to go down, that the steroids and everything um, was starting to work because they wanted to make sure that and get his blood oxygen level up because his throat and everything was literally starting to swell as well. And the doctor said, the allergy pill I gave him was probably the best thing we could have done at the time because it kind of slowed it down, the allergic reaction down some to give us time to get to the hospital. He said that was the best thing we could have done. And he said that was actually pretty good thinking um, that, uh, you know, to try to get, to buy us time to that got him to the hospital. Thank you, Daisy. Rosie, I gotta put those in your room, baby. Oh, uh, how about, uh, see, he wants to see if Bobby wants to help you put them up. I can't do this Okay. I got that, Daisy. Um. Yeah, we'll, we'll get your pictures put up. Oh, yeah. Rosie got new pictures. Yeah, of course, a Peppa Pig that fell off the wall. Got these. Yeah, still got to hang these up. Hey. Uh, hold on, kids. Hold on. I got hold this. Yes, I, can you give me a minute? So, yeah, basically that's pretty much the story of what happened. They, Put them on the um, so pretty much that was pretty much what happened. It, we didn't get home until about one o'clock last night. And by the time we got released from the hospital, he 
Bane was asking, woke back up, because most of the time while I was there, he slept and was just letting the medicine do its thing. And it's daughter boy knowing. So Bane slept and we just kind of let him um, sleep. And when we got out of the hospital, Bane immediately asked for soda. He's like, I want diet soda to feel better. And of course, after everything he went through last night, um, we're like, yes, Bane, you can have a diet soda. Even though it was like one o'clock in the freaking morning. Um, but it's just not, you know, normally we don't give him soda at that. Normally he's in bed. But, and he's like, I want my bed. I want my comfy, comfy bed. And I'm like, we're going home, buddy. We got home. He went straight to bed. And this morning, um, about an hour ago when I woke up, I heard him up being around, being his normal hyper self. His eye is still a little swollen. Looks like he literally has a freaking black eye. Hey, Beanie Baby. Bane. Come here, buddy. So. Yeah, his eye still kind of looks like he was like, got a, looks like someone gave him a freaking black eye at the moment. But the swelling's gone down. He can open his eye now. Um, it's just going to take a little bit to fully get over it. Um, I got to call his primary doctor um, mon Monday morning, get him in for a follow-up appointment to everything. He now has to carry a EpiPen with him. So when school is back in session at the beginning of the year, I got to let him know. I'm going to tell him not to give him celery or cantaloupe because we believe it was just the celery um, that caused the reaction from what we read when we was looking up stuff. Um, the ER did not say anything about the um, testing him to see what it was. But his prime, I'm going to ask his primary doctor about that, Tiffany, because I want after this reaction and how bad he, he reacted, I want him tested to see um, what else is there so we know what to avoid because he's the first one out of my kids to ever had a allergic reaction to anything. So I'm going to be asking his primary care doctor about getting him tested to see exactly what it's for and everything. So that is definitely going to be one of the things I asked his primary care doctor on Monday. Because after this, this was so freaking scary. Um, by the time I posted online about what happened, the swelling, um, the picture I had took, if you saw that post, was... That was after some of the swelling had already started going down. That was after like a good 20 minutes after we even got to the hospital before I let anyone know what was going on. Because um, obviously my tension at the time was bang. So once we was in the like two, two hour waiting mark and they had already given him medicine and the medicine had started to work is when I actually posted what was going on with Bane, like even the close group chat that we um, have for my close friends that we I talk to on a daily basis, they didn't even know until after we had already gotten to the hospital, about like 20 minutes after we had already gotten to the hospital. So, because I told them my close group chat, what was going on first, before I even made a post on social or anything. And at that time, he was, all, he was already doing a little bit better and, and the medicine had started to work. So it was a freaking long night last night. Um, he seems to be doing better. He's his normal hyper self. Well, he's on my iPad right now. I figured after last night, he deserved freaking 
um, iPad time and to play his games <laughs> on my iPad because after last night, he had a freaking rough night. I'm like, Bane, you can freaking play Roblox. <laughs> I don't care at the moment. You can play Roblox. After the night he had with that logic reaction, it was just unreal. I never experienced one like any kids having a logic reaction, let alone firsthand someone having a food allergy reaction. I was on the freak outside. Tyler stayed calm because Tyler has had a logic reaction to stuff before, so Tyler was the calmer one. So I made Tyler drive. And I focus on Bane because this mommy was freaking out. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Yeah, and even the doctor said we did the right thing about giving him the generic. I told him it was the generic allergy pill because I knew that had the same ingredient as Bene Benadryl. Yeah, so the doctor said that is the best thing we could have done, and it slowed it down enough to get him there. Yeah, so I have to go later to pick up his EpiPen, because after this, they did order him an EpiPen. Yeah, it was scary as hell last night. <laughs> so he... I don't even know. And I woke up, um, Audrey, who stayed with the girls last night, because obviously we was focused on Bane. Thankfully, it was like luck that we had, um, um, that we actually had someone here to watch the girls at that time. Yeah. Like, up until yesterday, you know, he's 11 years old. He never, you know, like, we never even knew that he was allergic to anything. Yes, I will be letting his school know after Christmas break because they are officially on Christmas break now. I'm going to, even though school is not in session, I'm going to probably text his teacher today to let her know ahead of time um, what happened. And because his teacher is really good with Bane, and we, I have his teacher's fo cell phone number, I can text her at any time. And this is probably one of the reasons I would text her outside of, you know, school break. But, yeah, it was very, it was crazy last night. I, but at least he's okay. That's the main thing. Yeah. You need to change your clothes. What? You're dirty. You need a bath. Yes. That's a pig. Yeah. Come here. Uh, so this was our first experience with any of the kids having allergic reactions. So this was fun. Not really. Not fun at all. Like, at all. <laughs> but at least he's okay and he's doing better. So that's the main thing. Hey. Everyone's doing good and doing better. I woke up to Audrey. had did the dishes for me. Sweep the floor. And I'm like, thank you, Audrey. I was so happy that she started helping cleaning the house this morning. So the house is in a better shape. We have running water now, so we can we could actually get stuff done. Uh, so whew, it was a day. <laughs> it's just like. Go out to eat, have some fun, went to Christmas in the park, and then disaster. <laughs> disaster hit. 
but he's okay and everything, so that's the important thing. <sighs> so, that's pretty much the story. He's okay and everything. <sighs> now, the kids definitely need a freaking shower after three days of not having running water. So, the kids would be definitely be getting um, showers and baths today because it was, I need a shower. <laughs> That's okay, Kelly. You can go back and rewatch it when I end the live because I am not retelling it. <laughs> um, our water was off for the last three days because they was literally fixing the water pipes because they're bringing in new trailers into the park. So... They had the water on and off, and when we did have water, it wasn't really high pressure enough to do anything. It was just barely trickling out. Um, but, yeah, that was that with the water. So, And because I couldn't do dishes for three days, we decided to go out for dinner, which led to what all happened last night. You can go back and watch the live. I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> it's a lot to explain. But... Important thing is, Bane's okay. He's still a little swollen. Looks like he has a black eye on both of his eyes, but he's okay. And he's acting like his normal self, so that is the important thing. He's okay. We'll get the EpiPen, let his school know, and just take it. No more celery. Just no more celery. Christmas break. That was cool. That was cool? Yeah. So, but he's okay. We went to Golden Corral last night. It's like... We spent like $75 at Golden Corral. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you. A side note. Golden Corral is so much freaking cheaper in Florida. I know Florida, we have, like, a lot of stuff was super high in Florida. But freaking Golden Corral was one of the cheapest places to eat in Florida. Like, for all of us, it was, like, only $40, if that, um, in Florida. We come up here and Golden Corral cost us $75 freaking dollars. It's like, I forgot about that. Golden Corral up here is so freaking expensive, it's not even funny. But the Golden Corral in Florida was cheaper. Go figure. What, buddy? What's the matter, babe? Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, we went to Golden Corral. Because I couldn't do dishes, because I needed to do dishes before I could cook anything, because all my most of my pots and pans was dirty. So I'm like, okay, let's just go out to eat, because I can't do dishes, because we had no water, and yeah, <laughs> it was just crazy. Oh my goodness! And then we went. Yeah. Honestly, Tyler had pizza two days this week because of work, so we really was not feeling um, Mr. Getty's, and we hadn't been to go to Corral since we left Florida. Um, so, Tyler went ahead and took a shower last night. I'm going to be taking a shower this morning um, after I make sure the kids are cleaned up because they have not had baths in three days because of the whole water situation. So I want to make sure all the kids get those baths today. Because being without water, because they're working on freaking water lines and the sewer lines and everything, because they're bringing in new trailers, affected everyone in the park, and we wasn't allowed to, to do anything. Okay, go play. Um, but my main concern is getting the kids cleaned up first. Go to Mama's house. Yeah. Let's see later. Go shoot. You, you still need a bath. Hey, hey, Rosie. 
Mamma said you could come. <laughs> yeah, Mamma said you could come. My yeah, yeah. Mamma said you could come. The, the water pressure is back to normal. Ow. Oh my gosh, my leg, my legs are asleep. My legs are asleep. Yeah, this dishes are done. Water pressure is literally back to normal. Like back to normal, no longer trickling. Yeah, I know you think it's dirty. Yeah, I know you think it's dirty. Um. We'll work on that in a few minutes, folks. Uh, but yeah. I know, but it was like, it was, it was weird how the water was doing here, but me and Tyler was talking like last night for me and him, we was going to go to Planet Fitness to take, take a shower, but we came back home and the water was on and like, yay, the water's on. I'm going to, like the second the water, I realized the water was on. I made dish water was started on the dishes because it's like after three days of not doing dishes, I'm like I want my freaking dishes done. Um, I started doing the dishes and then I noticed Tyler was telling Bane to get out of the room because Bane was on the exercise bike and then I was trying to help Tyler get the kids out of our bedroom and that's when we saw Bane's eyes swelling and dishes got a pause. <laughs> It was crazy. Uh, but he's doing better. That's all that matters. Oh. Uh, But yeah, he's doing better, so we are good. But yep, that's pretty much the story, and I'm gonna get off here. I'm gonna relax, do some exercise, and get the kids cleaned up and I'm going to clean get cleaned up from everything and just relax today because we need it and Daisy needs a bath she was sticky her whole hand in peanut butter last night <laughs> Daisy needs a bath everyone needs baths so we're going to work on baths okay I shall see y'all about one then. So, I will talk to everyone later. Grandma says she'll be here about one, okay? Okay? You see Grandma said. So, say, say bye. Say, we're going to go get a bath. Want a bath? Okay. Bye, guys.